Um, I put a, a couple of predictions out before this one, sort of firstly to myself, and then um, I did a wee post on it, and I was going to test a couple of those. So networking is already mentioned. You said this is incredibly important. How important is purpose? Now, what I mean by that is there's a lot of talk out there at the moment that you've got organizations and leaders that really focus on purposeful strategies. Yes, profit's important. You need to make profit, but there's got to be some, you know, core underlying goal. And you see that on a, you know, I don't know if it's Google organizing the world's information or Tesla making sustainable transport commonplace, or here we've got Discovery helping people live longer and insurer. What's, what's your sort of take on that? Did you think this was a purposeful endeavor? Is it just purely for making money because you thought there was a gap in the market? Yeah, I'm really, I mean, at a very personal level and the way I was brought up, I'm, I'm not very money driven. Um, I, I am definitely excited about the success of the company and where it's going and the idea that we're building a huge company. I think a lot of those companies, to some extent, need to build purpose as well because the best people are driven by mission. Um, one of the luxuries we have at Dill is we've got a very clear mission that a lot of people are associated to, right? Like you said you were from the UK, um, right? You've, you've been in different countries, right? You, you have family that have worked in different countries. You've immigrated into different countries. So you, you know that talent is everywhere. You know that you, you know, you, some, a lot of people, I don't know about you personally, but you wish you could have been hired by Apple in the US and apply regardless of being in, you know, in, in San Francisco or in um, Cupertino, I think that's where the headquarter is, right? So the luxury we have from a mission perspective is that everybody understands that if we make it easy for our companies to hire anyone anywhere, um, it's going to open so much doors, right? It's going to redistribute wealth. Uh, and on the flip side, right, what I like to think about is if we can help 100 million people <clears throat> get jobs at the best companies in the world, then we would have built something amazing, right? Something incredible. So I think purpose is very important. I think I have the luxury that purpose is very intrinsically deeply rooted into what the company does and everyone looks at it and say, I get it. And if it's something you understand, if it's something you felt, um, you know, I love working with people that have immigrated, for example, in the US, right? Because they struggled through, and I've, I've had it myself, like the visas and the immigration policies and all that, like to work for the best companies, some people have to go to the US and get an MBA to then give, be able to get the right like visas and stay and work for those companies. So a lot of people, they emphasize, you know, like, I wish I could have stayed back home in India and got the job from those companies, right? So um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm very, very driven by our mission. I'm very excited about it, that's for sure curious what what the kind of like the the five or six things were that were fundamental for the first the six growth months from the success in those early you know three to six months we've covered a few you had the the networks you've got on to yc which has helped to open up some of those yeah. networks as well you've identified a problem which you've experienced uh so mm -hmm. you're passionate about solving it you've got a great co-founder who you obviously get on with very well and you've got you know mixed sort of skills but now you're the two and you're actually starting off how do you then start to now organize the rest of your team as they're growing? Because the yeah. first couple of months, it's six people and then it's 60 people, you know, two or three months later. And you're, and, and you're, you're handling that and the growth is still going upwards. Yeah, I think there's, there's a few things. Um, so, for example, I think one thing that works really well for the intro is we're really good at dividing roles, right? Like I'm doing X, Y and Z and she takes care of sales, right? And um, the division of skills and responsibilities in the business um has worked tremendously well with us like this is one of the best thing about our relationship the second thing is hiring so hiring the best people specifically early on where things are shaky things are blurry you don't know where you're going like having people that are in here with you to get something built and they're excited and uh, believe in you right because again that's that's what they believe in at that time they don't yet, you you can't even formalize your mission that well yet right like believing in you and and ready to pull you into into some, because we definitely were at some point into some weird places, right? Into some weird places from a product perspective, from a, from a work perspective, that's super important. Um, greed and work, um, you're gonna, you know, fundraising, the first time I fundraise, you're gonna get a ton of rejections. And same thing for customers, like people are gonna tell you, your product is useless, why do I need it? Like, I can already do that, I can already do this, right? So like uh, a lot of grit and, um, and commitment, that's why it's important for you to, believe in your right in what you're building right because if you don't believe in it you get those so many times that it's really easy to get discouraged so you know looking past that and just like keeping keeping your stubbornness in terms of like wanting to build that while still being pretty open in terms of like iterations that are needed around like flexibility around how you should build it to get to the solution you want um <clears throat> and the last one i would say is um and yeah 
work hard. Um, no one's going to do the work for you. So every, every minute throughout, I mean, still now, right? Because we're still a very young company. The organization is like two point something years old, right? Every minute you spend is worth so much. Um, so uh, like, you know, I know a lot of people are very into uh, the idea of a work-life balance. I think it's great. I think for a founder uh, at this point, if you're starting to build a company and you want this to be what, you know, the fast high growth startup, you need to be considerate of the fact that you're going to have to work hard, then you need to put in the time and put in the work.